Hey everyone, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com and I have been getting so many requests for me to do a hair or a makeup vlog and I have like two out there. They are kind of old. Okay, I have all my products out which I will show you as I go along. Uh, but first, I mean not really too much has changed. Still using the same brush. I'm going to be using, I'm pretty sure this was in my last vlog. Uh, this is just like a, what is it? Con Air curling iron. The reason that I like it is because it heats up really, really fast and it gets really, 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 really hot. So basically, I took a shower last night for the first time. Well, okay, let me not say for the first time. I have been showering, but I haven't been washing my hair. Just because I miss my long hair so much, I want it to grow as fast as possible. So I have been only washing it like maybe once every two days. I don't really put any products in my hair other than the leave-in conditioner at night, uh, but that's really about it. So I just started taking sections. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my hair yet, but I think I'm going to leave a little bit out of the bottom and then curl the rest. I'll show you the whole entire bottom section and then I'll go ahead and start my makeup. Oh damn, that's hot. This hairstyle is pretty much good for when you uh, want volume on top but want it a little bit uh, blah on the bottom. But I go over it first just to straighten out any like scragglies that I have on the bottom and then just curl the rest. Leaving about maybe two, probably like three inches on the bottom if you can see. of my hair. It's so much shorter. I need those four inches back. Anyways, uh, my makeup products have really not changed because since I don't wear makeup every day they seem to last a long time. But I switched my bronzer simply because I cannot find the e.l.f. bronzer that I was using in stores and I'm too lazy to order it. So I switched over to the cheapy uh, New York City type of bronzer. It smells fresh. It's not quite as pretty, like I like the shimmer in my e.l.f. bronzer, but I mean, since I tan and since it's technically, you know, not really summer anymore, but still warm enough to lay out in the sun or get some sun, it does the trick. And the brush that I use is still the same brush. Uh, this is Diane Brill. After that, I use my Clinique blush it's uh called breathless berry i have no clue where i even got this but i know i've had it for years i just go on my tea spots and then since you know i plucked all my eyebrows out pretty much when i was a teenager they're gone so i just use my american beauty this is from cole there's a shimmery color and a regular brown looking color chocolate truffle mm. it's funny because there are so many different shades that I use for my eyebrows it's pretty much whatever brown dark brown color I have in my makeup drawer at the time obviously if I'm not as tan I use something a little bit lighter the tanner I am the darker uh, shadow that I use and my hair I'm finding out is still wet from my shower last night
this whole one side of my hair is done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side of my hair and then I'll continue on with my makeup. So I'll be back. Now I am done with a decent part of my hair. I know it looks a little silly, but it'll look real good when I'm done. I suppose that I'll just go with a darker shadow since I'm wearing black today. And this is the same Wet n Wild makeup that I used in my last vlog, I guess you could say. And I'm going to use the sparkle color, the sparkle black. And I just go under the lid and on the outer top. I mean, I don't do, try to do anything fabulous uh, because I'm just going to go over it with a lighter color. And then I'm just going to use... I'll use that lighter color, that white looking color, with my Diane Brill, I guess whatever kind of brush this is. Like I said, I'm a fitness girl, I ain't a makeup girl. And I just go over it to make it like a little bit lighter, I don't know if you can tell. So this is what it looks like so far. Uh, next, I think I will do my eyeliner, and then I'll go on to do like the next row of hair. For my eyeliner, I like cream eyeliner. I like the e.l.f. I use black and then I use my Diane Brill. Uh, I guess, I don't even know what kind of brush. It must be an eye, yeah, eyeliner and lip brush. I also use it for my eyebrows. Uh, I barely ever wear lipstick, so I just use it for my face, not for my lips. And I just go uh, on the top rim and then a little bit on the bottom, like every other female does in the entire world. Alright, so that darkened up the eyes majorly. Okay, and now I am going to move on to the top part of my hair. for makeup just because it's reasonably priced and great mascara this is what it looks like they're all in extreme black so I'll put that one on first and then I go to Maybelline volume express turbo boost mascara and then I use this one for my bottom lashes you can't even read it anymore but it was the lash accelerator I don't even know who it's by because I can't even read it anymore but just look for the green top. And last and not least, if you could only afford one mascara ever, I highly recommend this. I talked about this before. It's by Rimmel. The Scandalous Size uh, in Extreme Black again. I love this. I love thick, goopy, tarantula mascara, goopy, goopy, goopy eyes. And all four of these give me just that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my crazy uh, mascara onto my lashes and I'll be back. All right, so there is all the thick, goopy mascara. I have the best lighting that I could possibly have in the house. We all know my house is vampire-like and dark. Um, and for one, you're applying the mascara and if you get a little bit of, you know, gunk on your eyeshadow, I just use my eyeshadow brush and I just go over it a couple times just to like smooth any of the extra gunk out or, you know to make it look good again. And now I will move on to the rest of my wonderful hair.
project of all my makeup and of me curling my hair, which I'm kind of really not sure what to do with now that it's curled. So I'm just going to turn over uh, my head and fluff it up and see what it wants to do. wants to do. I think pretty much what I'm just going to do just to keep my hair in check today is uh, break out my uh, volumizing comb or teaser comb whatever you want to call it and just take sections of my hair roughly five bobby pins and I'm just gonna pin my little bump it's not really little but I'm gonna pin my big bump up and then use my Aquanet hairspray and spray the crap out of it. Now I like big hair. I mean, it's not super popular, but I absolutely love big, fluffy, froey, teased hair. Voila, it's all done. All right, so here is the final product of my hair. Here's the back. I don't even know what it looks like, but I don't care either because I can't see it. And this is what I'll be wearing for the day. This is from Forever 21. Bras from Victoria's Secret, of course, since you can see that. These jeans are from Kohl's, I'm going to say. They're size 9, um, but they are definitely, if I unbuckle, they're way too big now if you can see that. These fit me a month ago, four weeks ago. And now I could fit like one of my kids in here. But, you know, if I scooch them up and put a nice tight belt on, we're good to go. And simple shoes, old navy flip flops, woo woo. So that's my makeup and hair and outfit video. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.